Uh, hi everyone, um, welcome back to Term 3 at St Benedict's, which be began on Monday here at the school. Um, we seem to be all back into the routine, the learning routine, and I hope parents haven't been too phased by getting back to school lunches early in the morning. Now, as evidenced by this video message, uh, you'll see that we're trialling something different this term in conjunction with the school newsletter, and um, we're launching officially today with this message our school YouTube page. So it just becomes a different platform where we can communicate message to you more verbally about what's happening in the school. So I encourage us all to uh, subscribe in the button below and um, when we release different messages and videos, you'll get a, a little ping in your, in your, on your phone and uh, you'll be able to see them. For now though, the video messages will be tied weekly to our newsletter and we'll keep it as an information source uh, at, only at the moment. There might be from time to time, we might include students and if we do that, we'll be in touch with you as parents to uh, get permission for doing that. Um, our teachers began a little bit earlier uh, after having a shortened holiday. They came back last Friday and had a professional learning day at school. And that was really centered again on our explicit improvement focus of reading, which is obviously seen in the context of the English curriculum. And teachers have been looking closely at uh, what their students will be learning this term and building really appropriate success criteria. So hopefully we'll be able to communicate more with you around that throughout the term and um, give your, your kids and our students the tools that they need to be successful when they're talking about what they're learning. I want to give you a few staff updates. Uh, you'll remember last term that we said farewell to Mrs Millichap in Year 3 and we also farewell to Jenna Wobben. Jenna's safely landed back in the UK and um, sent me a message this morning and she's safe and well with her family. So this week we welcomed Olivia Galano to 3W and Olivia settled in nicely and of course Hayley Hatfield who was with 3W last term has gone up to prep R and the wonderful Chris McGraw has returned to us as well for a few days each week. Got a bit of sad news in the holidays and unexpected news uh, from Mr Ball. So Robin Ball, our grounds person, advised me in the holidays that he is planning on hanging his hat up in terms of his role at the school as our grounds person. So Robin's been here almost since the beginning at St Benedict's and um, for the last 13 years and really has seen the community grow over that time from what was a small community to start with to its uh, current form today and has managed the ground so well during that time. So it'll be a great loss to see Robin go from our school and um, we've started an employment process uh, to replace him over the next couple of weeks. His last day will be next Friday with us and we'll have an opportunity to give him a blessing in front of the whole school community on Friday morning. Also a bit of sad news, Lauren Velling. Lauren is our very talented arts and technology teacher who began with us at the beginning of this year. We had to fight a little bit to get Lauren into our school because we knew she had such great skill. But sadly, um, she's got a young family and um, really four days a week was a little too much for her. So she's been offered a job at a school very close by her house at St. Jeb at St. Kevin's at Gbunk and will work two days a week there. So whilst we lose out on her skill set, we know that um, she's making the right decision for her family. Again, we hope to get someone in place for um, Lauren over the next couple of weeks and to keep that great momentum happening that's been happening in that space. Um, a few reminders to parents uh, before we uh, I, I, I sign off. I want to give a bit of a massive shout out around the recycling program that we've had running over the last couple of months in terms of the bread bags and the bread tags. It's been an overwhelming response. We've nearly secured about 15 kilograms of bread bags, which is an awful lot of bread bags for that program. Even though it concludes on Friday, we're not going to stop people from bringing them into the school. We would just encourage you though to collect them at home and when you get a good lot of them, um, send them into school and we'll keep collecting them and we'll take them up to the local coals and put them in the plastic recycling program. Two other quick reminders, our year four families, um, some adventure ahead of our students next Wednesday or Thursday, I think they head off to St Helena Island for their annual um, excursion over there. They've started their learning about convicts this term. And uh, a bit of a reminder to our parents, please, that parent-teacher interviews will start in earnest next week. So if you haven't had an opportunity to um, make a booking with your child's teacher, do that as quickly as you can. It's an opportunity to share a little bit more context around the, the recent changes to the report card and how your students and how the kids have really been progressing and achieving over the first six months here at St Benny's. 
So again, nice to see you all and uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and we'll see how it goes and we'll give you feedback next week about how, what the response has been. Thanks everybody, have a good week.